Hello traders, this is Liza from ninjaaddons.com and in this short video tutorial, I'm going to explain what we call the zones that you can set for the bullish and bearish count individually. Let's start. First, we are going to load the Elliott indicator on the chart. I'm just setting the swing strength to big so it can be easier to see the different zones. You can keep other parameters to default value and click OK to load the indicator on the chart. Now just before we start, remember that all my explanations are for the bullish counts. This is just for a better understanding, however it is exactly the same for the bearish count. To configure the zone of the bullish count, just open the bullish count panel and select the zone display tab. As you can see here, there are two sections. The one at the top gives you the possibility to configure the font, font size and transparency of the zones. Since this is related to the display only, it doesn't require you to reload the chart. The changes are visible immediately. The second section at the bottom is where you will actually control the display of zones. Now as you may know, there are two kinds of waves in an Elliott count. Corrective, wave 2 and wave 4, and impulsive, wave 1, 3 and 5. The corrective waves, 2 and 4, should retrace in a certain area according to the Elliott principle. This is the corrective zone that you can show or hide from the toolbar. As you can see, when prices are in wave 2, they are supposed to slow down and start the new wave 3 in this zone. This is where you want to enter to take the next impulsive move. Now let's talk about impulsive zones. Since wave 1 is the very start of the count, there is no corresponding zone. The two other impulsive waves, 3 and 5, should reach a certain projected area that you can set from the wave ratios panel, and this area forms the objective zone. You can show or hide them from the toolbar. As you can see, when prices are in wave 3, they are supposed to slow down in this area and this is a good zone to take partial or entire profits. It does not mean that prices won't continue their trend, but it means that the potential is reached and it is more secured at this point to take at least partial profit. You can also decide to stay in position and tighten your stop just in case the move is strong. These zones are useful to find an area to enter in a trade and an objective. However, it is not an automated system and must be confirmed by your own analysis before taking any decision. In our opinion, Elliott Waves should serve as a guide to understand the overall context but should not be an automated system by itself. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, please send us a note at contact at ninjaaddons.com. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel to get notified when a new video is published. Thanks for watching, until next time.